Hey everybody, today we are going to talk about why a plant-based diet might be the worst thing you can do for autoimmune diseases and especially lupus, given that there's a lot of celebrities that are dealing with that. Selena Gomez comes to mind. She's had to have a kidney transplant because of it. And unfortunately, it's heartbreaking that the mainstream and the vast majority uh, of the uh, medicine really doesn't make the link between a plant-based diet and how powerful that can be in stimulating those autoimmune diseases. If anything, they're recommending that you eat even more plant foods. And so today we're going to talk about why that is the absolute wrong approach. So I'm going to share my screen and you can see just a few little slides that I prepared here for you. So are plants and especially sprouts, that's like the worst part of the plant, are they really that healthy? So what is the link between plants and lupus? So dietary supplements that contained al alfalfa were initially implicated in triggering disease exacerbations in lupus patients. That's how they discovered the link between a specific plant, the alfalfa, and um, it triggering lupus. And then they realized that it was specifically the L-cannabinine in it that was subsequently shown to be the principal ingredient in alfalfa seeds that's responsible for lupus and making it worse or triggering it. Primates fed alfalfa seeds, alfalfa sprouts, or L-cannabinine developed a similar disease. And then when you withdrew the alfalfa seeds from their diet, and that resulted in the resolution of the clinical condition, although you can still detect autoantibodies for up to two years. So your own immune system is still destroying your own tissues for up to two years, even after you remove the trigger or the um, alfalfa seeds. What are other sources, though, of l -cannabinine? It's not just the alfalfa. It's also the soybeans, of course, the alfalfa, but also the onions, the broad beans, also known as fava beans here in the United States, and jack beans. How does l -cannabinine cause physiological harm? So the problem with L-cannabinine is that it's very similar to L-arginine. And this is a recurrent theme in plant self-defense chemicals or plant anti-nutrients. They always try to create chemicals that are very similar to other proteins that humans or animals have in their bodies so that those plant chemicals can interfere with the normal functioning of our normal proteins. And so this is a classic way of how plants defend themselves. They create this chemical L-cannabinine because it's very similar to our um, amino acid L-arginine that we like to use in so many of our proteins. So what happens? Our cells now mistakenly incorporate the L-cannabinine into our proteins instead of L-arginine, which leads to producing proteins that don't function in our body correctly. Not only that, our DNA is made of a very important molecule called histones. Those histones are proteins that are rich in the amino acid L-arginine. And so if you literally can't create the proper chemi chemical structure of a histone, it's going to be very difficult to pack your DNA correctly. And that's going to lead to all kinds of catastrophic effects on your health, which is exactly what you see in a case like lupus. This is my Instagram if you'd like to connect. And this is my website, drsarahzaldivar.com. If you would like to look up my coaching packages, everything is linked in the description box below for you. So it's easy for you to find me. And these are the references that you might enjoy reading up on. If you are a nerd like me, and those are the rest of the references. They're also linked in the description box below, so you can link to them directly. So yeah, there is nothing that comes good from eating a plant-heavy diet. Um, even if at the moment you can tolerate it, some people develop those autoimmune diseases at a very young age, but almost everybody eventually succumbs to those plant toxins. And so let's just uh, stay away from that and eat a carnivore diet. All right, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this content. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.